Since a lot of you know that every time we do a significant build or a cool project, we do a build video or content for you guys. We go as far as even degree each engine that we do, like a B20 VTEC, a couple of them, even a B16 and go straight to dyno, even an H22, as you can see here, and a D series. So now it's time to actually share how we lock the VTEC so we can degree, clay test, and even check valve to valve. And here it is, we're disassembling the PO8 or Z6 rock arm set. We're gonna show you our way that's a lot simple. And here's a B series version. As you can see, we're gonna move the pins around and show you how we lock it. This way it's easier. We use checking springs when you're checking valve to valve or even clay test, but you don't have to purchase that or look for that. We have a trick for you guys. So yes, we're gonna show it. And of course, here's a PO8 head that we're working on. So yup, let's go. <laughs> First of all, this is our new page because my personal Facebook got hacked way back and so I, I lost control of the moderation control, sorry, of the old page so I had to make a new one. And you can see here we got the price list there at the lo local currency so you can just check the Forex or for a, for an exchange. We got several posts there and doing all the stuff that we do at the shop that usually don't make it to the video like this, you see that? All right, so I'll see you there. We'll talk a little bit more about this later on. All right, let's go, let's go. Okay, here on the VTEC, on the BVTEC rocker arms, here's one of them. The center is the VTEC rocker. This is the primary and secondary, of course. Now, each each pin has a different length. Of, sorry, let's remove that. Wait, let's move the camera or the phone. Okay, here. All right, as you can see that. So we'll show you how we lock it and how it's easier than, you know, than usual. We use that washer. You can use anything. Some use ball bearing, but hey, we figured the washer is easier. We got the, we found the same size as the, the VTEC pin. Okay, we remove that. Wait, we push it on. Let's show you how they are all together. All right, there. So of course, oil pressure pushes the pin to lock the VTEC when you engage VTEC. But now we need it locked even at idle or, you know, when you're degreeing or clay testing or checking valve to valve. Okay, now this slides off easy. So this, the primary or the secondary has a shorter pin, but the VTEC rocker has the longer pin. I learned it from my colleague because I used to do it the other way. Now we put that there. This way it sticks out. So it locks in easily. If you just put it together, it's automatically locked. Now we put the spacer inside, like the washer there. Okay, now we use the shorter pin here. Now it sticks out. So now you can put it together. Look, let's put it together here. There. Okay, now it's locked. So now you install this with a rocker shaft onto the head. You do one on the intake and one on the exhaust. Of course, ideally, chamber number one, so that you can degree it, reclay it, and even check valve to valve. Okay, let's zoom out. There you go. Now you assemble it, you put the rocker shaft in, once it's laid on the head, and now you have yourself VTEC locked. All right. Okay, now let's switch to the D-series, okay? But before that, if you're liking the video, hit the like button as this gives more activity to the video and the algorithm will spread it out to a wider audience. That's been cool for all of us. And of course, if you haven't, hit the subscribe button. This way you get updated whenever we have new content uploaded that's going to be interesting for you. So, yep. All right. So now here, the D-Series, the PO8 D16 Z6 head. Here, there's only four VTEC it's all because the VTEC on the single overhead or on the D-series is just the intake. So there's only four VTEC rockers. All right, let's move that here. There, you can see on the intake side, there's only four in between the rocker arms, just four all, all on the intake. So let's remove this. Wait, this, first let's remove the cam cap bolts for, for the rail. All right now we can move let's get rocker arm 
in we take rocker arm set on the in on number one. Okay, now here's we got it apart. Let me uncook the phone and show you guys. All right, there, as you can see, it's kind of like the same as the BC, it's just, you know, a little narrower, but yep, the function and the purpose is all the same. Okay, now wait, let's remove the pins. Here's the washer, the spacer that we use. So it locks VTEC. All right, okay, now let me show you an example. Let's try to pull out the pins first. Okay, here, now we go. We use we invert it like you know use the other side from the center onto the primary, just like just like on the BCVs. There you go. VTEC, and then we put the spacer there. All right. And now, so when you put it together, it locks VTEC. As you can see here on this side, the pin sticks out. You see, we, you can see that. So when you put it together with our rock with the other rocker arm, it locks it in. So you assemble it with a spacer onto the rocker shaft again. So you got yourself VTEC locked on the intake. All right, some of you may, may wonder why people do this. On the turbo or on the DCS turbo or big cams, they usually do this. Especially on the B series, they can run Skunk 2 Pro 2 or even Pro 3 and lock the VTEC and still do all good. And some will, some may wonder why they do that. One of the main reasons, one of the reasons, one of the many reasons is that you can run extremely high compression, even at low end, there's no problem. But if you need to do that, Speed Factory has the VTEC locking pins. They're titanium like this. See, they're light enough and really, really strong because they're titanium. And for the D series, here it is. Speed Factory has it. As you can see, there's only four because VTEC is only on the intake. So if you need to lock the VTEC, Speed Factory ha has the stuff for you. And of course, since we've showed you guys, we we always degree an engine build that we do with where it has cams and all that. Of course, one of the main thing also is we use checking springs. This way it's lighter. Here it is. You can see on the left, there's a checking spring. But of course, you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to look for this or scrounge for it. If you can find some, that's good. But a trick you can do is use the factory or OEM inner spring. As you can see on the left, on the, on the right, that's the OEM inner spring. Here, let me show you. As you can see, our checking spring when we, when we do clay test or valve to valve or e even uh, degreeing is soft, but even the inner spring, look, it's not as soft, but it's not super hard. And the reason why you need this is because if you run dual spring or even especially aftermarket springs, it, it turns hard, right? So you wouldn't know if it's actually hitting it or actually bending the valve. So, right, you can also check this one. There'll be in the description, link will be in the description below. This, we did this two years ago. On this one, we showed, we locked the VTEC. We actually showed it, how we inserted it on the head with the rocker shaft and all that. So if you want to check it out, link will be in the description below. Don't worry about it. All right. So here, now, this is a D16Z6 BO8 head. All stock, it just arrived. We're going to work on it. We're going to port it. So... We're showing you this because it's kind of interesting because it, it's it been running bone stock. The owner acquired it and the seller said it's all stock. So, and it's true, look, it's not even milled. Everything is all stock and good, right? But look at this. Because it was running a stock ECU, you can notice the carbon buildup is excessive, but the area where the injectors spray, it's cleaning up the carbon. So that means it's just a ton of carbon or like that means it's running a stock ECU, but it probably had a header upgrade, an exhaust, even an intake. So yes, the engine is stock, but it's no longer, you know, flowing efficiently as stock because they changed the exhaust, the header, the intake. So everything is a lot different. So you can see the carbon is all weird up right but of course this will no longer would happen because this one is going to have an ecu tuned uh engine or car so the owner will have this tuned so it's going to be really good once they finish the project we're only tasked to port the head so this is going to be good we're going to do all the good stuff on this and here another tidbit 
if you notice the intake springs of the PO8 or the stock is actually has a brownish orange colored paint and the exhaust is green not blue but green as you notice that right so just in case you disassemble it and you try to figure out which one is the intake or exhaust the intake is the orange brownish color springs and the exhaust is green all right yep it's gonna be so cool now we're gonna start porting this and here let me show you we took off the springs now yes now it's getting ready to be worked on it's gonna look a lot cleaner when once you know we're halfway through porting because it receives cleaning every time we go from carbide to sanding roll so yep so the reason why we're showing this is because i'd like to tell you guys that you know if you guys have some questions and all that the comment section is pretty good i'll try i try to answer it all the time but if sometimes you guys have a question that you know that is a little bit more lengthy the shop page is w welcoming you guys to comment there you can comment any on any post i'll try to get back to you and of course that's gonna be easier for me to give an answer where i can answer with a picture or make a post helping uh, explaining the answer to you guys on the page i try to do that on the comments here but of course we're always limited to just comments or just typing letters no pictures so if you guys have some questions feel free i'll always try to help you guys all right and also you guys can comment down below if you guys want me to make another video about a po8 d6 and z6 head porting because we're working on this we can easily make another content on the specific head of course at the same time as you can as you guys saw the channel description i'm trying to bring back the forum days because it's been long gone so any questions you guys have can comment down below and of course i'll try to answer it might not be right away but i always try to get it back to you guys even if it's the next day i answer it properly but if it's an extensive question or a, a more deeper question you can comment on any post on the page and i'll make a post and reply with you guys so for now we'll have a playlist here for you